Now we've seen how the multiband compressor is literally the perfect tool for controlling a specific part of your frequency range. So if you want to reduce your subsonics or your high end or your high mids, the multiband compressor is the tool you want to use. But it isn't just capable of attenuating and reducing these specific areas, it can also add gain in these areas. So we can use it either as a static or a dynamic EQ. So what's the difference between dynamic and static EQ? Well, static EQ is just the same as you used to with a standard EQ unit. Let's have a look at that now. So this is the part of the mix we're interested in, and I could just grab this high-end area and boost the gain. Let's solo it, because I want to go a little higher in frequency. Great, so I want that very high-end. And we can boost it. So that's eight and a half dB. You can see in this very small display here. And we can bypass it. And that is literally the same as using an EQ unit. And let's say we want to boost the low mids. And we want to reduce some of the mid range, the high mid range, and a small boost in the subsonics. That is the same as using an EQ. But you can see it sounds a little muddy. So how can we reverse that muddy effect and how can we add control whilst adding EQ? Well, we can start to employ some gain reduction. And obviously this will be different for every area. And you can see that we are still adding EQ. Let's up the ratio a touch. remove this band here and I want to add some control in this band and by reducing the amount of frequency in the area and by increasing the ratio and reducing the threshold and increasing the amount of gain reduction we're adding control to this band but we're also adding gain I tend to like to add have it just reducing to just above the level we were at so what you can do is, you can go back to zero, see how much gain reduction there is, and then sort of equalize it. So you end up brightening the mix without adding too much gain to any specific band. So you get that control, you get that uh, bus compression, and you get a little bit of enhancement. And I think this works really well. And this is essentially dynamic equalization. Try it out with the Logic Multipressor and see how you can enhance your mixes. And you'll see at this point that there's a lot of that frequency going on in the break, so we'll get some extra gain reduction to ensure that it's not too bright. And then when it kicks back in, we'll be back to where we were. Now you can always add a little bit more gain to equalize things. You can hear that's really enhanced it. Great, and that can be done with any multiband uh, compressor. So give it a shot, try it with your own multiband compressor or Logic stock, uh, stock version. And next up, we're gonna take a look at parallel compression or parallel treatment with multibands. And uh, I'll show you a way to get around the lack of mix control on Logic's multipressor.